Telltale have been busy beavers as of late. Not only do they have an episodic series based on the Game of Thrones TV show on the go, but they also have an interactive drama based on the ludicrously lucrative indie title Minecraft in the works. If the last episode doesn't task players with building an exact replica of Notch's LA mansion, then we failed as a species. But as if that wasn't enough, Telltale has also partnered with Lionsgate, the studio behind TV hits like Orange is the New Black and Mad Men, to create new original content. And it's already working on another new game. This one is kind of a big deal for the developer, and not just because it's got Lionsgate's backing. You see, unlike every single other game it's made, this one is a true original, Telltale's first brand new IP. And it'll be made in what Telltale is calling its Super Show format, an experience that combines one part interactive of gameplay with one part scripted television style content. On one hand, this could be cause for concern. These are massively untested waters for a development studio that came to prominence by building upon worlds other people have created. Maybe they should just stick to making games based on movies. Like, oh, how about a Jurassic Park Telltale game? Or, oh, oh, how about a Back to the Future game? Where we're going, we don't need multiple dialogue options. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Well, you know him better than I Except, ah, uh, wait a minute. Telltale has already done both of those. Well, have missed it though. This was before the studio hit the big time with its breakthrough success, The Walking Dead. See, both the Jurassic Park and Back to the Future games were well, not very good. And the reason for that may well tie into the reason Telltale's new IP might be their best game yet. The developer is obviously good at storytelling. It's what they've based their entire ethos on, after all. Yet every time it picks up a licensed franchise, it's limiting the kind of story it can tell in one way or another. It has to bend and shape its narrative to fit what's already come before it, which is a tricky task that overall Telltale manages pretty well. To Rob Stark, the king in the north! The, the king, king in the north! The king the problem is, however, that it can often mean they have to tell a story that doesn't upset the status quo of the universe it's set in in any way, or they're telling a tale you already know the ending to. Essentially, they're bound to making stories where nothing happens. Which is why The Walking Dead worked so well for Telltale. They had the basic framework for a story, but carte blanche with what they did with it. The studio created brand new characters to do with as it pleased, and aside from the setting, a few locations and the odd character cameo, it was an entirely separate entity to the comic books it was based on. And being a comic book series, it fitted Telltale's episodic structure perfectly, as did its follow-up The Wolf Among Us, based on the long-running Vertigo comic, Fables. Part of me really wants Telltale to stick to making comic book games though. A game based on the Why the Last Man universe would be amazing, as with the chance to play as trans metropolitan Spider Jerusalem and use his infamous bile disruptor on a deserving politician. But I am curious to see what Telltale has learned over the years of working on licensed franchises, and how it fares when finally given the freedom to go in pretty much any direction at once. Here's what CEO Kevin Bruner had to say about the new IP. I'll say we've spent a lot of time experimenting over the last decade with how powerful a storytelling tool interactive can be. We thought about building something from the ground up that gave us absolutely everything we could dream of as storytelling tools. The right kind of story, the right kind of setting, the right kind of people involved, everything. It kind of rose organically and doing your first original IP is a pretty big deal for any company. So it's something we're pouring a lot of love into. It's probably the most ambitious thing the company has ever done, but we feel like we're ready for it. We're very excited to talk about it, but we can't say much more right now. But it is the perfect thing for us. I'm excited, though still holding out hope for a bottle disruptor. If only they could sort out those bugs, eh? Ooh, there's an idea. Telltale game based on David Attenborough's Life of Insects. Patent pending. 